I just uh, came in from Canada. Uh, we're writing a story on on Miriam, just given the history yeah. uh, with Justin Trudeau. Private property. Is, is it all right if I'm here? No. Nope. Okay. All right. No problem. It, would you be able to tell me, was he, were you good friends with Trudeau? You weren't? If you've been paying any attention to the Canadian election, you've heard about the Trudeau blackface scandal. Well, there was another scandal in that scandal. It was embedded within it, and it was a groping scandal. It's something that is reoccurring for our Prime Minister. He touches every woman he can get his hands on. It's a power move to him. It's rare. It's the exception to the rule when he doesn't touch a woman. In fact, in this picture, you can see his right hand on the breast of this woman, finger actually in the cleavage, and his left hand is on her waist, grabbing her very tightly, and it looks like she's pulling away. It's a weird situation, and it is certainly in Canada's news interest to understand what was going on in this picture. Also, why Trudeau was let go from West Point Grey Academy, the school that David Menzies and I were at just late last week speaking with the school administration to figure out why Trudeau was let go early in his contract. Now this woman who lives in the building right behind me, her name is Miriam Martosium. She's an Armenian singer and it looks like she's tried to put all of this in her past. It doesn't look like she has any contact with the Prime Minister, although Justin Trudeau in a press conference said he was really good friends with her. The woman in the photograph, he's touching her in a very familiar way, um, depending on your relationship with her. Who, who was she and what she was She was a close friend. Now, is that really true? I don't think it's true. Justin Trudeau said the same thing about the Aga Khan when he took a luxury vacation to his island. The ethics commissioner determined, well, they don't really talk that often at all, not in many, many years. This was a lobbying event. It wasn't a gift from a very close friend. And it seems like the same situation happened here. To get out of something that has a lot of bad optics associated with it, especially with Justin Trudeau's history with Rose Knight, well, the get out of jail free card is, oh, it wasn't a colleague, it was a real close girlfriend of mine. That's what Justin Trudeau wants you to think. And to this woman who's married and has two children, it doesn't quite seem to be the case. So we were curious. We ID'd this individual as Miriam Martosium last week. We had David Menzies in the same spot last week as well, trying to get a hold of her. He wasn't able to do that. They were out of town for the weekend. But over the weekend, the Daily Telegraph from the UK published her name and the story behind her. No other Canadian media seems interested in this. The problem is, when I showed up here, the walls were up. She was not interested in talking. She kind of seemed a little bit terrified. Uh, and I understand why. Justin Trudeau is a scary guy. It seems like the same thing happened with Rose Knight in British Columbia after the news came out. She asked for privacy, uh, terrified that she was going to get backlash from Justin Trudeau's hostile supporters. The same thing sort of happened here. I asked a few questions. She asked me to stay off private property. I complied. I was on the sidewalk. I managed to get a few questions off. Here's what I asked. Hi. Are you, uh, are you Miriam? My name is Kian. I'll, sorry to, I'll introduce myself. I, I just, uh, came in from Canada. Uh, we're writing a story on, on Miriam, just given the history, yeah. uh, with Justin Trudeau. Private property. Is, is it all right if I'm here? No. Okay. All right. No problem. It, it would, you be able to tell me, was he, were you good friends with Trudeau? You weren't? Take care, bud. Sorry? Oh, no worries. I just wanted to ask a few questions. Do you, is there... I mean, the whole the whole country the whole country is just really interested in this story. They want to know if other people were wearing blackface. Was it peculiar that Justin was wearing blackface that night? I just wanted to ask some questions. Totally allowed to be here. Well, I mean, this is a public sidewalk. 
I don't think so. Now, something that I want to know now is, has the Prime Minister's office or anyone on his campaign reached out to this lady and told her to keep it zipped or else? It's a very weird interaction that I had because right after I asked those questions, they called the police. Who's calling that? Uh, I'm just a journalist. Sorry. I'm just a journalist coming to do a story. I'm from Canada. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know anything about the situation, but the person living there uh, was in a photo with our prime minister. Just came to ask some questions, uh, stepped on the property to uh, ask them a few questions. They informed me it was private property. Obviously, I understood that, and they told me to leave, so I did. And then I stood on the sidewalk and asked a few more questions, and then they said they're calling you guys. So, I mean, sorry to waste your time, but... No big deal, man. So, as I told him, um, I can't stop you from parking on the street. I can't stop you from going on the sidewalk or wanting to ask a question for the speech on me. However, um, if you go onto his property, you can't, you can't do that, which he asked you to leave, at which point he did. Um, both he and another owner own this parking lot here. So He owns this parking lot? Correct. Okay, I'll, I so you can't, you can't um, park here. You can't go onto his property. Um, Understood. I know you're trying to get a story. Uh, he doesn't want to... He doesn't want to talk to you. He doesn't want to give it to you. Um, I don't even know who he is, so okay. I totally understand. I'll, I can get off the property here. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, I, I can't stop you from parking on the side or parking on the side of the street. I mean, I would recommend you leave him and whoever else in that in that house is there. Like I said, I can't I can't force him to do anything. However, if he calls us back for you going off to the property, come back over here. Oh, don't worry about that, that for sure. That aspect. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Um, and let me just take down your name, sir. Sure. That's the response of someone who's either hiding something or being told by someone in powerful places to keep something hidden. Did Justin Trudeau grope this colleague, someone who really was a fellow employee at a school for children? Did that happen or not? Justin Trudeau says that they were really good friends. I think that that's the response of someone who knows that the person on the other end of that assertion isn't going to be talking to media because, well, they're terrified of Justin Trudeau. That's my guess. In the meantime, Canadians will have to wait with bated breath while we try and figure out why Justin Trudeau was let go so early in his contract and why he was groping a co-worker. For Rebel News, I'm Kian Bexton. Hey there, I'm just at the International Airport in Atlanta heading back to Canada to finish up our election coverage. Our coverage for this election is 100% donor funded and we really appreciate any help that you can give us to make sure that we can continue providing you news that the mainstream media just doesn't want to cover.